Welcome to Vaughn's Cooking. Today, I would like to share with you my recipe for Vietnamese fresh shrimp rolls. This is the brand of the rice vermicelli that I use. There are many bundles in the package, but uh, for my recipe, I only need to use one bundle. I am going to wait for uh, the water to come to full boil. And as you can see, the water is very full for this package. If you need to cook more bundle, then you need to get bigger size of pan so it could have more water for more bundle. Then I put the bundle in and wait until it separate. The heat is medium to medium high. The key is to get the water boiling. Keep boiling. If there is no bubble, that means you don't have enough heat. So keep the water, turn the heat up or down to keep the water boiling. Turn it over and move them around as you can see it start to separate let's wait until it separate a little bit more now it is completely separate and same thing the water is full on the top they all separate then I will turn the heat off and put the cover on Then I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes. Then open the lid and taste it. If it's not too hard for you, if it is, close the lid back and let it sit for 2 or 3 more minutes. Then pour it over the strainer. and run the cold water over it to stop the cooking. And shake it to get all the water out. Then over the bowl and let them dry. You can also Move them so every half hour when you have time just move them around open up to get the air in to dry out after turning and spreading three times and after one hour it is completely dry and ready to be used. It is best served in the room temperature, but if you like it a little bit warm, you can microwave it, but very little, very low heat for 30 seconds or one minute. If you use more than one bundle you would need a little bit a bigger strainer with more space 
so the air can come in and dry it uh, perfectly. This uh, pork chop is about six ounces. After I wash it, I dry them very well and then I sprinkle up both sides and then just a little bit sugar all the sizes and then put some sprinkle some of the black pepper over other size now it is ready to be cooked this pork chop is about one inch thick so and small so I'm using this small pan to cook the pork chop I put about one inch of water in there, bring it to boil, put the pork chop in, and then turn the heat down to simmer. Close the lid for 15 minutes. Then I turn it over and cook for about another 15 minutes. And you can take it out and put it on the cutting board to cut it to see if it's tender. Then it is done. The pork is ready to be sliced. And you just try to slide them as thin as you can. If you don't like the fat on the outside, you can cut them off. If you don't like to eat it. But otherwise... Just leave them in there, slide really thin. These shrimp are frozen and has been thawed in my kitchen for about two hours. And this size of shrimp is 13 to 15 count in a pound. In this frying pan, just enough boiling water to cover the bottom. I put this shrimp in. And now I'm gonna try, I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit. And I'm gonna try to put all the shrimp on the same level. So none of them are stack on top of each other as you can see here and then I'm gonna wait until the bottom side turning pink then I'm gonna turn now I might need to turn the heat down a little bit and I can just move them around so you can see the other side the bottom side turning pink just wait a little bit more. Now I'm going to check to see it's still there's a little bit gray area there so I'm not turning it. I'm just wait just a little bit more. Now it looks like it's very pink. I'm going to turn and also, you can see this size is open up very widely. That means they are pretty nicely cooked. And I'm just turning it over to the other side. And I'm going to just see how many minutes, maybe just one minute. So just move them around. Make sure they all flat, have space in between. And then just wait for, they are pretty cooked right now. 
because as you can see here like this one here completely open up so they we don't want to overcut cook this shrimp so they are ready we just wait for a couple more seconds to make sure they all cook as you see that boiling water is good so that's about one minute on this side so look at this both sides are very pink both sides there is no gray but also as you can see it will it is cooked very short time and also in the middle it's open up so that means it is cooked I'm gonna um, try cut the little piece to make sure it is cooked so I just put it on a plate and it's all firm so that means it's cooked these shrimp are easy to peel when they are still a little bit warm and then I'm gonna slide them thinly ready to be used now I'm gonna try to slice the shrimp as thin as I can but remember don't cut your finger so that one slice because this is a big size of shrimp, so I can get even three slides out of it. I think that's all I can get, three slides out of one shrimp. These are all the ingredients for the shrimp rolls. Vermicelli, shrimp, pork, fresh mint, bean sprout, cucumber without the middle part of the seed. I use the peeler to slide the carrots and romaine lettuce. In the middle is the dipping sauce that I have the recipe in the description box. And this is the hot chili that we are going to use the scissor and slide them to put it in. This is the roasted peanut. This is the brand that I use for the dipping sauce. When you open a new jar, make sure you stir it completely from top to the bottom. This is a 9 inch pie plate full of cold water. And this is the brand of the rice paper that I use for this recipe. I find it thick enough to roll all the ingredients inside. I dip the rice paper in and keep turning and make sure all the surface is covered with water and then I shake a little bit and then put it over this plate as you can see I have a little piece hanging over then I'm gonna start wrapping gonna start first with the romaine lattice everything just a little bit because you don't need too much because we want to have a lot of shrimp and pork in there next gonna be shrimp they are very thin just go ahead and stack them one layer at a time and then the pork
mint leaf then the bean sprout finally the thin slide of cucumber and a little bit of carrot in there and then we're gonna repeat again the shrimp with this pink size down any little piece that you have just put it so they will be filled up with shrimp and then a little bit pork now we're gonna just roll them over make sure this time now we're gonna do it really tight just put your finger in the front then we're gonna roll the side over this size over make sure they little bit straight down there and now roll tight and tight and tight and tight and tight I want to show you another way this time I'm not going to roll the side over. I'm going to try to load as much of vegetable and meat inside because we are not going to fold anything. So you want to be have a big roll. As you can see, I have the ladders all the way to the edge. And now I'm going to loaded with vegetable shrimp so this way we don't have to worry about the shrimp is gonna break out but everything will be inside now a little bit of mint just go right across so we are gonna have a big size of roll And that's what the traditional Vietnamese fish is. And then we're going to load it up again with shrimp. shrimp just cover completely and then pork so we don't lay them down here we want to put everything roll it so everything will be very compact and now we just roll it we don't roll the side in a really really big big roll for the fist you can put as much of the chopped peanuts in the sauce as you like and then slice very thinly slice of this fresh chili and before you dip the roll in use the spoon and stir them very well before you dip so every bite you would have the sauce 
the peanut and the hot chili in. The peanuts play a very important part because they bind all the ingredients together. I prefer to mix a lot of chopped peanuts into the sauce, which is best served warm. I hope you try my recipe and enjoy it.